Hey folks, it's Bob out here at Sorrenti Hill. Hey, uh, still working on cordwood. I'll show you what I got back here. This is the wall that, uh, that particular wall is forming the, uh, the laundry room. Um, and that's the window that I put in and I've got the cordwood finished all the way up to the bottom of the, of the wall window. Got my dryer vent installed and uh pretty happy about that now i'm getting ready to uh go up top here let me back up here so you can see that up top here you can see that mess of wires that's all the wiring that's going uh, to the kitchen and to the dining room and so i've got to kind of tighten that up and get that all controlled because what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up above the window to, to try to close that in and then uh, then I will start depending upon what the weather is like over here if I'm not able to get this all done this part here that's open if I'm not able to get that all done before the freezing weather starts why well, I'll just close that off with uh, a piece of plywood or OSB and have that closed in but I'll at least I'll have the wall finished on my laundry room and I wanted to take it all the way up to the top I thought I'd so show you another thing I'm working on how do you like my nice blue stripes here this painters tape I put on now my doorways my door frames are made using uh, pressure treated it's a cedar tone pressure treated wood and what I did is I uh, I took that that pressure treated wood and I trimmed the edges off of it you know how on the on the edge you've got that little rounded edge and what I did is I took that rounded edge off to get me a nice flat edge and then uh, I've got a bunch of uh, oh, I think half inch dowels that I used for this uh, about every six or eight inches I've got dowels to keep these aligned well the dowels do a good job of keeping it aligned they haven't shifted any but unfortunately with pressure treated wood it likes to shrink as it dries now I haven't seen this problem on my front door but those uh, boards I had had longer and they had been sitting out in the sun they had dried more these boards were newer and hadn't dried as much when I when I made my door frame so what's happened is where the two were fastened together it's opened up a little gap this one's done it even worse and so what I'm going to do I've got some brown caulk and I'm going to caulk in between this but I didn't want to have to clean up a bunch of caulk mess off the wood so that's why the painters take so I can caulk down through here with my brown caulk that is fairly close to, I hope to, to the color here um, and fill it in and now what I'm going to use for my caulk to smooth it out instead of my finger is this this is a plastic card I think yeah this one's from HughesNet you know all these credit card companies they send you these things uh, some of them are plastic and some of them are cardboard. This one's cardboard covered with some kind of plastic. So what I do, what I'll do is uh, I use these to smooth my, my uh, caulk. And the thing that's neat about these is I don't have to worry about cleaning it. I can just throw it away, unlike, you know, a spatula or something like that and uh, I don't have to worry about running short of them because I swear I get something like this two or three times a week so these things are great to use spreading glue instead of using my finger I like to use these for spreading glue uh, when I'm doing glue ups and also for caulk so let me get my caulk gun ready and I'll get to uh, putting some caulk on all right so I've got my brown caulk and I, I did a fairly small opening 
And so on my uh, tip, and just take it through here and see how much I can get into that crack because I really don't want to end up with water getting in. This is a this opening here is would be a perfect way to get bugs and moisture and everything in. So putting some caulk on there to seal that up. And again with the with the painter's tape, then in theory I should be able to get the caulk in the crack and I'm trying to get it as deep into the crack as I can and then with the with the card I can smooth it out and then peel my painters tape off and I will have a nice bead of caulk in this cr opening in this crack and then I won't have caulk all over the door trying to clean uh, all the, over the frame trying to clean it up and I don't know about you guys but caulking is not one of my favorite things to do And I always pull the handle back on the caulk gun so it doesn't so it doesn't try to squirt out on me. All right, now I got my caulk on. I'll take my crust, trusty junk mail card and just use that to smooth. And I'm going to wait and let this set start setting up some before I go pulling the tape off so I don't disrupt it and you know without that painter's tape there I'd have a caulk mess all over the place so this will keep it smooth and keep it from being all over the place and again when I get done I can just throw this card away I don't have to worry about cleaning it or anything like that but then I'm going back again one Smooth, continuous stroke. And there you go. Caulk applied. I said I'll peel that off. I'd have been cleaning that up from the, from the wood if I, if, if I had just put it on there without this. So, all right. Simple as that. All right, I've got my... I've got my caulk down and it's set up for a little bit. So I'm going to peel my painter's tape off and see just how good a job I did on this. I'm trying to be careful with this tape because it's got caulk all over it and I really don't want to have to clean it off me. And see all that caulk would have been on the wood. I'd have been having to, to clean that up. nice well it's not exactly the same color but it's a brown and I don't have a big mess to have to that's not exactly the same color it's brown but I don't have a big mess to clean up so I'm pretty happy with that. Let me take it off this other side here. I did that while you were gone. And do the same thing with it. Peel my painter's tape off. This stuff is great. I've used a lot of this. I use it when I'm putting mortar on also. That way around my window frames and columns and the like. I don't have to be as careful I don't have to worry about it and I can get a little mortar on there and then just peel it off and I'm good to go all right 
there we go so now i've got that caulked in it looks nice and smooth and uh and i won't have to worry about bugs being able to get in and i kind of like that all right well i think i'll call it a call it a day with that you can see i've got that uh my laundry room window our wall rather excuse me done up to the bottom of the window um and i also put so, uh, some caulk down along here between the window box and the column there's a little gap got that filled in and so now i can go up this way up to the top of the window and then i'll start across and get that filled in figure out what i'm going to do with my wiring and uh, and get ready to start closing this thing in all right well thanks for stopping by and seeing where we stand right now and and what i've got done so far and uh we appreciate you stopping in and taking a look at our videos and hope you're enjoying what we're doing here um like i said it's getting pretty exciting because uh once i get that area above that window done then I'll start on the, the section, about four foot section next to it, see how much of that I can get done. If I don't get it all done, no worries. I'll just cover that with a piece of OSB. And those openings that you see back behind me there, I'll cover that with OSB and I'll have it, uh, I'll have it closed in so I can start working on getting these interior walls in and getting, uh, getting this thing to where we can, can get into it uh, for this winter now i won't be finished by any means um there'll still be a lot of work to do on the inside but um but we won't be in the rv we'll have a little more room and uh, actually be able to start enjoying this place so again thanks for stopping by we we'll hope you come back and see the next one don't be afraid to get out there and try something you've never done before hopefully that little uh uh, hack that little tip I showed you with the caulk might help some of you out I know uh, it sure helped me out and I especially like it that I'm putting that junk mail that I get to good use instead of having to spend money on on uh, tools and stuff all right thanks for stopping by this is Bob at Serenity Hill and we will see you on the next one bye now